It really was just a matter of time. About a year ago, Ibis released its RIPMO, which they redesigned this whole linkage here to lighten it up and create what was the most amazing long travel 29 inch bike we've seen. Uh, and we set it next to the, the old Ripley and said, hey, you know what, we probably are just as, as good to, to get the Ripmo and use the long travel, we're about as efficient. So it only, only made sense that they would bring all that technology into the new Ripley and bring back a faster uh, sort of medium travel trail bike that, uh, you know, we've got guys racing the old Ripley and they'll race this one too because this is just ridiculous. It's like same same uh, linkage they used in the Ritmo or same concept. They lightened it up. They brought that clevis a little closer in. They used bushings instead of bearings. Uh, that lightens it up. It also eliminates a lot of the creaking noises we got out of the, the older Ibises. The, the Ritmo has not creaked at all the way that some of the other bikes have and we're expecting to see that carry through uh, with um, with the new Ripley's um, of course these are always fully custom you pick whatever build you want start there then change everything out it comes completely disassembled when you order one so we, we do have some stock ones that we've got in but uh, Almost all of these are fully custom. Pick your build kit, pick your shocks. The, this is, again, 130 in the front, 120 in the rear. Like the Ritmo, they're using a you know, slacked out frame, but a short, uh, less offset fork. So you slack it out, get that nice stability of a nice slacked out fork, and then um, tighten it up so the bike is still nimble. So using 41 instead of a 55 millimeter offset. The other nice thing about using the linkage the way they have, they've gotten rid of those um, two eccentric bearing pivots, which means that we can run a longer dropper post. So we were having some issues with some of these where guys really wanted a 150 dropper, but there just wasn't enough space to get it in there. So we can run a longer dropper, we can get it, um, it just takes up less space. You don't have to worry about it here. This one here is set up with custom i9 wheels. Again, that's your choice. When you buy them from Ibis, you have a choice of i9 carbon um, or their stock Ibis wheels. And then they're all coming set up with either a Fox Performance or a Fox Factory fork and shock option. This one here is set up with the Fox Factory. And this is one we've had out on the trail already. Super fun, super fast. DW Link, as always. So if you've ridden one of the old ones, this is just the same thing, only a whole lot faster, lighter, better. There it is, that's the new Ripley. I think they're calling this the Ripley 4. Previous were calling it LS. But. So there it is. Anyway, guys, uh, if, you, if you're watching this, you want to check out more about our bikes and stuff that's coming in, please subscribe to our channel. We have some fun stuff, some just bikes, pictures of, and, and such, but. Mostly it's just us playing around, so follow us. Um, we'll be live streaming some events this year, all sorts of craziness. All right, enjoy.